Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and my dog's growling at my other dog in the background. Um, so, I have this uh, little web browser up here, and this is called Dot, or Dot Browser, or the Dot Web Browser. This is a newer uh, web browser made by a small group of people, not funded by some big company, and it's focused on security and privacy and it's all great and everything um, but it's still very new and it's not very complete but it's open source and it's uh, I think the most recent version is 3.0.4 I'm using 3.0.4 alpha um, that is not what I wanted to do um, about dot browser so you can see right here, um, <clears throat> it says dot .browser 3.0.4 alpha uh, copyright 2020.hq. Um, so that's the company that makes it. And uh, it has this nice little default picture when you open up the browser. And um, you can change the background to whatever you want, actually. Kujo! My dogs are going crazy, so... Kujo! <laughs> so you can even change like how often you want it to go to the next photo, you can... There's all these crazy settings for it. It's pretty cool. Um, you can see you can add a widget. I'm gonna add the weather. Um, but I don't have my location or anything, so... I'm gonna take out the weather. Um, 12 hour, display seconds, display the date, analog, no, um, do that, and then greeting, I'll set my name to Ryan, good evening Ryan, font settings, I'll do comic sans ms, oh yeah, look at that, <laughs> uh, sure, why not? No, uh, I like that. Weight, black, bold, medium. Very customizable, as you can see. Um, time zone, lots of them. Wow, okay. Uh, holy cow. Uh,. There we go. And yeah, that's that's uh, the little nice thing right here that you can do. Um, the problems with this browser though are very immediately apparent. So you can see right here, there's um, buttons. These four buttons, they don't do anything. Can't bookmark this page by clicking this. I uh, don't know exactly what that is. I'm assuming that's some type of security thing. Uh, you can't open the profile thing, and you can't open the settings pane. That's what I'm assuming those are. Um, you can't open them, so that kind of sucks. Um, you can hide this though, and you can go into full screen, go out of full screen, and um, you can see there's multiple tabs. So. I like the little animation right there. Uh, this is the GitHub. Um, I accidentally clicked on the wrong thing. Um, I thought this was the GitHub for the dot browser, but it's it's the GitHub for this software. That's what I was so confused about. Okay, that's the that's the GitHub for Oops. It didn't close unexpectedly. I, I, uh, it looks like closing tabs crashes the program too. So you can't close out of the tabs that you have open, at least in this beta. So that's also an issue. Um, you can refresh and you can go back and forward and stuff. Um, I, think, I think that works. Oops, test. It uses DuckDuckGo by default, which I have some issues with DuckDuckGo, um, but I mean, it's better than Google. Um, 
So yeah, you can see um, that works. And it's pretty fast too. Um, there's some more problems though. So if I go to preferences, you can see it just doesn't work. It does have a clear browser data button right there, but I don't know if that does anything yet. Um, check for updates. I don't know if it does anything or not because I'm on the latest version. Um, if I go to history, click full history, it doesn't work. Um, so there's a lot to work on for this in the future, but it's very promising. And like I said, it's all open source and it's all made by a, like a small trustworthy group of people. They even have a Discord. I'll post the invite in the description actually if I can find it again. Um, I found this on Alternative 2. I wasn't contacted by them. I didn't stumble across them on social media. I found them on Alternative 2. Um, so dot browser. Let's see if they show up. And yeah. So this is where I found them. Um, I browse this. I browse Alternative 2 regularly because I'm very into this type of stuff. And um, I was scrolling through and I went pretty much towards the bottom and I found this little thing. So um, it's the whole point is that it's centered around privacy and the UI is pretty nice and it has built-in eye blocker and it's not based on Chromium as far as I know. It doesn't look like Chromium. It might be based on Firefox or Safari, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, a website that I went on thought I was on Safari, but here the reason I was trying to go here is because I wanted to go to their GitHub and their website. So that's interesting. It doesn't actually have a copy link button right there, but you can copy it yourself. Um, so you can see it uh, looks pretty nice, their website, and um, you can learn more and block ads, familiar design, back up your data, everything's open source, and they uh, have a download, where is that? Download Mac OS. Uh, there are no stable builds yet, so this is in beta, um, or I guess alpha. So you can find 2.0 and on, I think I found that on their GitHub, um, but the most updated version is 3.0, um, and you can find it on their GitHub. Okay, yeah, this is, see, this is where you find, you can find the older version over here and download that if you want. And that is their beta, I think. I think uh, that 2.0 is in beta. Or I guess this is the official latest release, but only on their GitHub. On their, on their website, um, you want to get 3.0. It works pretty well. Um, but for some reason, the most updated version on their GitHub is 3.0.1 alpha. So I don't exactly know why. But um, you can see that's a month ago. <laughs> so I recommend getting this one. I know that on their on the GitHub page, it's got this this as the most recent version. So if you want to get the source code, you're gonna have to get that for now. Um, so yeah, you can see it's very small <laughs> by the amount of stuff happening on this GitHub but they do update it and the Discord is pretty active. Um, you can see 36 online right now, uh, 33,000 33, downloads. Um, yeah, it's, it's growing, definitely. Um, you can see the developers here and stuff. You can donate. Um, it's very new, it's something to look into, so I'm going to be using this probably as a secondary browser until they, um, release a, oh, it has a night mode, that's nice, until they come out with something that has more features, because right now this isn't the most feature-rich thing in the world, but it's a basic web browser, and I trust the people behind it, which is a very important thing for me. So if you're really into privacy, this is going to be a browser that you're going to want to use, um, but it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have a whole lot of features yet, um, so I'm hoping that they come out with uh, more things soon. And, um, that's funny. 
uh, under ID, it says username, ender dev, and email. So uh, automatically it logged me in as the developer, I guess. So that's an interesting thing. Uh, so yeah, I'm in the Discord. If you join the Discord, you can find me in there. My username is flag, flag, flag. So yeah, this is the dot browser. I recommend it, and I will post uh, links in the description to the Discord and to the website.